Well, hello and good morning, at least good day, depending on when it is that you're seeing this particular uh, broadcast. Uh, and again, welcome. My name is Bud, and this is a, another day in the Lifelong Vlog Blog Challenge. This is a challenge that I've taken on myself and, and that I also encourage others to take on for themselves and for the benefit of those whom they know. <clears throat> One of the things that I'm doing uh, is to uh, increase um, another personal goal that I've taken on is to increase my typing. And while I have been talking about this particular um, site, I haven't shown uh, I haven't shown it. So here it is. You will notice here at the top it's Kieber, K E Y B R dot com. Okay. Uh, and if you can't make this out on your on your particular computer uh, computer for whatever reason, it's um, K E Y B as in boy R dot com. And as you can see here, learn typing at the speed of thought is their little handle there typing lessons that work it's an online program you cannot download it but um, you don't have to and then what it does is you know you set it up for however much time you want to type in my case, for the time that I've been using it, I've typed a total time, 6 hours, 33 minutes, 58 seconds. Total samples, I'm not sure what this means, but I've been typing about... also gives you your total or rather your top speed in words per minute your average speed for the entirety of the time you've been using the and as you can see here I did 43 minutes today. I have an average speed over all of 43 with a top speed of uh, below. There's a number of other things going on. Uh, the first of which is players typing achievements. These are supposed to be like gold and silver. <laughs> uh, they 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 pretty much just give them away. So I don't think I've uh, done anything earth shattering, but you know, um, uh, I keep getting a ribbon. Okay, and then uh, players learning progress overview chart. And you can see the various letters that the program has introduced. Um, you know, some pretty basic, you know, first level key action in the beginning here. Well, no, they jumped up to I and N and T. Those are off the first row right away. Uh, O's off the first row. R, L, nope, that's the first row. S is first row. U, that's upper. Okay, so there. do and thereby what you need help with and then they give you 
words and letters and combinations that uh, help you to practice uh, your your weak spots. That's kind of neat. And then they just give you a bunch of other information. I don't really spend a lot of time down here in these other areas. Uh, learning rate, for example, zero words per minute sample, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I guess I'm learning and then dropping down and learning and dropping down and uh, smooth data. If you don't smooth it, then this is more realistic. So whereas here it seems like I'm climbing, yeah, climb, climb, climb. In reality, I just go real fast for like, you know, some like nanosecond or something. Like up here, I'm 151 words per minute. You know, I maybe went from one letter to another letter real fast in that instance. But, you know, obviously my range is, uh, my average is, you know, down here. So that's kind of neat to see, I suppose. And then you can smooth your data if you want down here players typing score and speed chart okay and you can also unsmooth the data so which is which I'm not sure 30 words per minute uh, players typing score and speed chart you know, I could get all into this. Uh, anyone can get all into this and uh, you know figure out all all what what all this means. Actually, they give you some information here. This chart shows how the player's overall typing score and speed changes over time. Okay, well that might be nice to know. For me, it's really an overkill of data. Player's proficiency, uh, histogram. This chart shows average typing speed for each individual key. So I guess uh, T's are really up there. Oh, that's surprising. T, really, huh? That's at 72 words per minute. Uh, G is 34. E is 47. Y, 42, and these are keys that they've not introduced yet. Z, X, W, V, Q, K, J, F, B. Probably because I'm not doing so well yet with these others. I guess if all of these were up at 72, then they might be, they might have already added these others, so... Uh, keyboard key frequencies histogram. This chart shows relative key frequencies. I'm not sure what that verbiage means, but uh, so nine four one four. I suppose the keys that they're giving me. Some keys are giving more frequently than others, like E is really up there, which you would expect, I suppose, since E is the most repeated <coughs> letter in the alphabet. Anyway, you can go crazy with this information. I choose not to do so. <laughs> you know, you can even download the data. <laughs> so... Uh, you know, whatever. But um, I do like their approach. Really gives me the practice on what I need, and I think overall I'm getting up there pretty quickly uh, relative you know, compared to what I was doing with um, with the program I was operating on before. Anyway, oh my goodness, nine minutes. We, we're out of here. <laughs> okay, listen, we look forward to the next time that we can spend time together. And uh, hopefully that will be as soon as tomorrow. But if not, then hopefully um, sooner than later. But in either case, until then, please do take care and have yourself a good day. Good day.